if you're new to our channel, my partner Adam and I and our dog Tyler have been traveling part-time around Australia for the last two years. So to check out all our past episodes and all our episodes in the future, make sure you go down the bottom and like and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino and on this episode, we are talking toilets. That's right, I am going to show you a whole heap of different varieties of toilets that you can use when you go camping and that is camping in caravans, tents, camper vans, you name it, we've got a toilet for you. So <laughs> let's first start off with the old fashioned hole in the ground. That's right. So all you need for this is a shovel and somewhere away from other campers. Now it's not the most ideal toilet situation, but sometimes you can be caught out and you need to do this. But even easier than that, and something really simple, probably the most simple toilet idea I have seen, which I found a picture of someone that someone has made up. So it's basically just getting a stable bucket, like a thick wall bucket, um, which you can get at your bunning stores or any hardware store. And you buy a tube, a um, pool noodle, they're called, and cut it down to the size of the rim of the bucket and then slice it down uh, around so then it goes on top of your bucket and that will give you a comfy seat and you can line it with a bag. Now this week I popped into Anaconda and filmed all their different toilets they sell there. So any of the ones that I'm showing you um, in this part of the video, you can actually get from Anaconda, or I'm sure there's other pl other camping places that do sell them also. Now, their most basic one is very similar to the first one we spoke about, um, where it's just a bucket and it actually comes with a toilet seat on top. How easy is that? So you can line these, or if you're just doing number ones in it, you can go straight into it. Just make sure you clean it out every so often and um, and make sure no one tips it over. So that's uh, the first option they had there. The second toilet I found there was actually a great idea if you wanna save on space. If a bucket is just too big, because normally the buckets you'd use are quite tall and can take up quite a bit of room. And if you're tenting it, you probably want to save on room. So this is a fold out option and it basically just folds out. You put your bag in, you got your seat, use it after you've done, you can wipe it over, fold it up and put it away. So I actually really like this option. I think this is a great one for people who are camping in tents and have a lot of equipment to go with. Now, if you're somebody who likes a bit of luxury and can afford to have the space to house one of these bigger type of toilets, um, these are definitely the ones for you. So they had three on show. I'll show you these now. You can see that um, there are two that are very similar, which house the chemicals at the bottom of the toilet. It's very similar to the one Adam and I have in our uh, van, which is a permanent one, but these ones, they detach from the bottom, then you can empty out the waste. So pretty simple to use. Um, you can use chemicals. There are other YouTube um, episodes out there that you can look up to find alternative ways to do more natural products rather than using um, chemicals. Uh, Adam and I do use chemicals. Uh, we find that they don't smell and um, we do dispose them at proper dump points or in our toilet at home. Um, but it's up to you um, what you want to do. Now, one of the last ones that I saw at um, Anaconda was their like cream of the crop. This one was a lot taller, so you felt like you're sitting on, you feel like you're sitting on an actual toilet itself. And also it had a little bit on the side that pops out that has your toilet paper and it pops back away so it doesn't get wet. Now there is a new um, a product that you can get called a Dunny Buddy. Dunny Buddy? I think that's how you say it, Dunny Buddy. Um, and these are really cool, but they're more for if you're going to a drop toilet. They're being designed for campers, so how holds your um, toilet paper and also you can um, put things like tampons and um, any other things in the middle of the roll 
to keep it dry and away from dirt and dust. But you could probably use one of these with your toilet units if you were to get one, if you wanna keep a bit more sanitized. Now, before we head out to see the unit in our van, I wanted to talk about some ladies that I met not too long ago on the road. And if you're a regular watcher of our channels, you can go back and, well, if you haven't seen it, you can go back and watch it. Otherwise, you might have already seen these guys. They used a toilet that I'd never seen. It's very similar to the Fallout one. It pops up and um, maybe I'll just go straight to the video and show you and they can explain to you how they use it and um, what they use to put in it to soak up the smells and all the rest of it. Now, one question a lot of people are gonna ask when you are really off grid and you have got to use a toilet, um, what do you do? <laughs> well, as much as we can, we use the facilities and um, wherever we were um, camping at. Yep. Um, but otherwise, we have this toilet tent. So this opens up as a oh, meter okay. by a meter, I think. It yep. drops. And, and then, then so obviously your toilet's not in that. So where is your actual not toilet today. itself? <laughs> <laughs> so we use this. Look at that. Yep. And you, so that just pops out. Pops out. I can you do it for your... you if you like a demo. Oh, no. why not? I've never, I've never <laughs> seen oh, one of okay. these. Okay, easy. It's clean. Yeah. We rarely use it because most places we use other way, so it comes like that. Okay. And then this, and you just push through. Hang on. Yep. Look at that. Pop it. And it's it so carries, I think, simple. what? Um, so simple. You put some bags. Yeah. And we layer it with. Um, what's it? Horse bedding pellets. Yep, horse bedding pellets. Okay. Because yep. it's dry, it, it takes the moisture away. If you separate your number ones and number two, no yep. smell at all. Fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. What a great invention. And where did you find this? Uh, eBay. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just pop up toilet or something like that. Yep. Yeah. When we purchase this uh, online, it comes with this pack. So it's oh, okay. called Elemental. And then it's, it's come with this the biodegradable bags, and also some of this powder. So apparently this will absorb. It's very little, isn't it? Yeah. It will absorb. Tiny. But of course, you've got to separate your one and two. Like, yep. Don't, but sometimes it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've also used this, which is natural product. Oh, fantastic. So you just, yep. you know, shake it. And where would you and buy something like that from? Just from pet store. Shop? Pet shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So this one, I think it's pine, so it expands. And then ah. absorb, and that's no smell. So, perfect. Mm. How cool was that setup? That was so different. I'd never seen that type of toilet before I'd um, met these guys. And um, yeah, it's definitely something different. Now, this year, Adam and I visited the Tiny Home Expo in Geelong, and we actually got to see a toilet that actually incinerates your waste that's right it actually burns it with gas of all things um and pretty much how these ones work is you put like a it's almost like if you've seen the americans the way they make their coffee it looks like a um triangle kind of or like a funnel um, piece of paper that goes in there you do your waste and then you press the button it drops down and it burns it and it literally burns it to nothing and you just get rid of the ashes wherever you can so it's pretty cool they're not the cheapest things to run although in saying that with anything over time things do get cheaper so maybe they will be more um cheaper to run in the future but yeah it does take gas and um you'd probably need a pretty good setup in a van to be able to hook all that up um i don't think it would suit adam and i in our van and um, yeah, but it's definitely another option. When it comes to accessories, you can buy bags, the chemicals and the toilet paper, like anaconda cells, all these, that's where I saw them. Um, now, like I said, there's so many different varieties of chemicals you can get. I know there's a different type of Bunnings I've seen before, um, which I didn't actually like. I like Bunnings, but I didn't like that product. Um, the one that Anaconda, the one I'm showing you now, this is probably our preferred and you can get different fragrances. Uh, also the toilet paper, we always use a biodegradable toilet paper. So it breaks down in those chemicals. So when it goes down, it doesn't harm anything in your toilets and all the rest of it. Um, and 
Also the bags, you can get the bags for if you're using the bag option. Um, now, one thing I do like about the bag option is Adam and I, we do not use um, our toilet for number twos. We only use number one, but there has been occasions where we've been out bush and we haven't been able to have a drop, you know, get to a drop toilet or anything. So we have done the bag option and it's pretty simple. You can literally line your toilet in the van with a bag, do your business, put your toilet paper in it, tie it up. And then what we normally will do is we'll tie it up and double bag it. We house it where the canister goes in on the outside. There's about that much room um, where you can actually store those bags there till you get home. So they're not actually physically in the van with you um, and you're not disposing them in the bush, the forest, all the rest of it. So you're taking care of the animals in the environment by not having them there. All right, so now let me take you out to our van and show you how our toilet actually works and what type of toilet it is. So this is how our toilet is. Now it's facing this way, but when you're having a shower, you can actually twist it to face that way. Now to operate it, it's pretty simple. Um, you spin it back around, you open her up, and there, that is covered but I'll show you that on the outside later. And then on the side, there's a little thing here that you just do that. And then that will open up. And then after you've finished your business, then you just press this button and you'll see the water will flush. Once this is full, the light will come on here telling you it's full and it needs to be emptied. And that is how we use a toilet in our van. Another point I should add is that you need your water pump on for your toilet to be able to flush. Now that I've shown you the inside, I'll take you outside and show you the cassette. So this is the side of our van. This is where our gas is kept. And then in this one has the actual canister itself. Um, if we open it up, this is where it's housed. It's a bit scratched and damaged in there, but um, anyway, I'll get that out now. To, re to actually get the um, cassette out, you just lift this yellow bit and pull out, and that will bring it out. Now I'll put it onto the ground so you can actually see it. So this is how they look. Some of them come with wheels, so you can actually wheel it to your destination of where you're going to empty it. Ours doesn't, you just hold it by the handle here and by the other end. Now on top, you'll see this part here is how you empty it. You have um, this bit that comes out and comes away from the actual unit itself. You untwist it like so. Now this does have a measuring um, on the side. So if um, you were filling up um, your chemicals, you've got that there, but most chemicals have the uh, measurements on the bottle. Then down here, this is a lever that if I pull this back, pull this back, <laughs> um, when it goes into the van itself, this automatically pushes back, and this is the part you see in the actual so inside, um, and when you press that button on the side of the toilet, this is what opens. Now this is full at the moment, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, there's no surprises in there. It's just a lovely wee. Anyway, so that is open, that is closed. When you are pouring it out from this end, you push down on this button, which helps the water, uh, water and waste release. And that pretty much is it. Now, when you're putting it back in the van, it's gotta to remember to put this back like so, and also to have your, um, this closed, all right? If it's open, it will not go back in. It needs to be closed, and there you go. So that is the actual canister itself. And um, now I'll actually show you uh, what a dump point looks like uh, where you dump these guys. As you can see here, this is a dump point and Adam is emptying the canister into it. There's always a hose next to it so you can rinse out your canister before putting it back in and just make sure you rinse the actual dump point itself and get it nice and clean for the next person.
Now, because I am at home and it is full, I don't have to go looking for a dump point. You can actually let the waste go down your toilet. So you do exactly the same as what you would do at a dump point, but you're putting it down your loo. Now, if you're not sure about chemicals, how much you've got to use, um, just follow the instructions on your bottle. They're all different. Some of them actually do come with a uh, measurements on the side. Others have a little bit of a bottle that you can squeeze it in, get your right amount and then pour it in. So there's a few different types. And also um, you do have the option of the lid on your actual cassette sometimes does have the measurements there. So just follow the bottle's instructions and you should be fine. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode talking about Toilet Talk. And um, let me know in the comments below what you think you would prefer to use as your toilet. And um, if you've got any questions you want to me to answer, if I can answer them, I will definitely get back to you. We always check our messages and, um, and comment back to everybody so definitely get down there and start asking your questions and hopefully i can answer them and with that guys i hope you've enjoyed this midweek episode make sure you stay tuned this sunday at 5 p.m like every single week we have our main episode out adam and twyla will be back on the adventure we're going somewhere really exciting so i can't wait to show you and we've got some special guests coming on this adventure, so it's going to be great. So we'll be on live chat to answer any of your questions. If you're new and you've just found us, make sure you go down the bottom, like and subscribe, and tell your friends about us. And until this Sunday at 5 o'clock, we'll see you then. See you guys.